Hello the Hackworms, it's Secrets Today bringing you another tutorial on how to set up Dark Comet 5.3 and uh, when you've downloaded the file here you will get in a, a WinRAR folder if you do have WinRAR downloaded and what you're going to do now is you're going to extract the two-way folder and once you've done that you're going to wait for it you're going to set up the folder, you're going to extract real quick and it's made the folder now I'm going to open that folder and it's going to bring me to a few files now before what I suggest doing before actually running one second let me close that before you start actually running Dark Comet you open up your um, Windows Defender or your antivirus whatever it is you're using and add that uh, X file to your ignore log so I'm going to show you right now what to do okay I'm going to wait for my antivirus to show up I'm going to click yes on this and it should show up One second, not sure why it's so slow. Okay, it's up. You're gonna go to ignore list and you're gonna click on add. Now this is if you have malware bytes. I'm not sure what you guys have, so it might be a little bit different, but same process. Okay, and I like to keep it in the desktop so that's why it's much easier accessing for me. And here's a dark comment. I click on OK and everything should be good. And now I click run. And my antivirus should not block this program now and something should pop up yes click on do not display again the EULA and then wait for it to uh, give you the option you could just scroll down a little bit click on I accept click do not show startup click on fine and now we have this new interface now I haven't been dealing with rats for a while now I'd say maybe three or four months but I am going to show you today uh, that I will be sh uh, setting it up for the first time in month so it will be a little bit slow for you guys so you guys can be on the same page as I and you will have no problems setting this up so let's get started now do you see the uh, there have no users here on connect it's usually some information that comes up here user logs I believe is who comes up sockets is what you're handling what port and the uh, names and PID and the, all those etc etc what the main thing is you want to do is click on right here dark comment hyphen rat and you'll listen on the new port usually 1604 for dark comment yes 1604 click on listen now you've already ran that I believe something should pop up yes click on allow access okay that should leave goodbye okay now you're gonna re-click on this and you're gonna build your server um, they've added a quick and an expert um, it depends on your knowledge on rats if you're quick with it if you know if you don't know much and you want to be done with it quick click on minimalist and if you know everything what you're doing and you've been an expert click on expert full editor okay for you guys I will do minimalist so we can be easy and quick and uh, be done with this quick so we're gonna click on that real quick and something should come up stub ID is I believe your name whatever you want to do so I'll just put down in um, secrets uh, one I don't know Okay, IP DNS. This is what you're going to do at noip.com, which in a few minutes I will show you. And then the port you're listening on is 1604, which I will show you how to port forward as well. Destination path is where the file will go to when it is downloaded or executed on the victims or your computer. And that's where you can find that file. Now, most people, I believe, do it in the, uh, I'll show you down here, in the system 32. And you can name this whatever you want. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm just for the process for the uh, purpose of this video. I will put test ID, okay. And the key name is Dark Comma Rat. That's the name of the rat. I mean, I can I don't know. And if you have a uh, icon changer, you can't just drag and drop your icon here. And that's what your file icon will look like instead of something. Well, one second. And like that. That's how it look. If you download an icon and you drag it that's how it'll look okay that's good now what we're gonna do now is go to noip.com so you want to open an internet page I am using Oprah as my internet browser because it is quite fast but it's, uh, somehow been quite slow for me so I'm not sure why okay we're just gonna wait till that opens and keep in mind I haven't been to noip in a while so I will click on noip.com if that's still the website nope they changed the website okay now you're gonna click on sign in okay I think it'll take me somewhere yes see if I remember this sign in with your email and password if I remember 
Okay, and click, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you can save. Okay. Now you want to click on add host. I'm not even sure I have any host because they might have been deleted. Okay, so I'm going to click on my host. Okay, you can put anything you down want here. I'm sorry I had to uh, pause the video because my sister did come into the room and I have to go soon to pick up my dad. Okay, so I'll just put down in uh, Dark Comet Rat 5.3. Okay, and DNS, most people use noip.org, .info, or .biz. Um, you can use any of this, you know, but it, it's much easier just to remember the easiest ones. So it's, I don't know, depend and I'll, yeah, I'm certain that this name has been used, so I'll just probably add uh, secrets. Yeah. Dark Comet Rat Secrets. Okay. And then you'll want to scroll down and click on Update Host. You literally have to do nothing else. Now, I believe if you're using a VPN, you must do something here. I'm not sure I have to reconfigure myself, but do not quote me on that. Okay, so click on Update Host. Your host name exceeds the character limit. Okay, you see, I have did a mistake there. Good thing it told me because I would have exited that out. Okay, so we're just going to go with dark secrets at, you know what, zapto.org. Okay, and we're going to scroll down, update host. All right, we've made that. Now, if you don't have the client like I don't, on the left-hand side, there's a uh, under host redirects, click on download client, and I believe they updated that as well. I do have no IP, though. I'm not sure. Click on download now. Okay, and click on run for easier access to the thing. And once it's finished downloaded, it should start running. Okay, there it is. Click on yes. Okay, and click on I agree. Click on I install. And then wait for this. You can probably click show details. Okay, we're just kidding. I'm not. Oh, I think it's uninstalled. Yep, okay. Uh, launch DUC. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're going to click on finish. Okay, we can now exit actually no IP, and I kind of want to leave that open actually because I will be using the internet later. We're going to log in again with your no IP information. Okay, I'm logging into that now. Click on OK. Authorizing DUC. We're going to wait for a second. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, now I you're going to click on edit host because if you see 2x is there because if you've just made a, uh, a no IP then it's not checked and it must be checked in order for it to update okay and then click on save and now it's all green make sure it is all green if it's not then it's not working and that might be the solution to your problem you can now exit that X okay now IP DNS is what we've just made no IP I've made dark secrets I forget see I forgot one second okay so you're gonna click here back you're gonna type it exactly as it is on uh, how you wrote it in darksecrets.zapto.org .zapto.org now the port forwarder we're listening on is 1604 this is the path everything's good generate the stub small or normal normal is I believe um, 60 600k maybe small is maybe small than that. I'm not sure I haven't been using rats for a long time but do not quote me on that and we're gonna click on normal okay and then we're gonna save it I'm gonna save it to the desktop real quick and I think my antivirus will pick this up because it is not FUD and I will show you how to FUD your server soon so we're gonna click it on test server and I will click on save this dub was successfully generated okay I'm not gonna waste my time and running the server because I have not port forward even though it may go locally but that's not what I'm trying to do now I'm going to show you how to port forward you may now exit this and you can minimize this exit the no IP because you've already finished okay now what I want you to do is click on start in the run you're gonna type in CMD okay you might need uh, administration privileges I'm not sure but what you are gonna type when you do open your CMD is I P C O N F I G most are familiar with it saying IP config and you're gonna type enter and you're gonna scroll all the way up until you see Ethernet adapter local area connection and you're gonna grab your IPv4 address which is mine is 192.168.1.9 you're gonna open the internet browser again mine is Oprah and I'm gonna type in the default login website which is 192.168 point one point one and you're gonna log in usually it's admin and password and that's what I'm typing in now click on submit 
And the reason why I love Night Gear is because it's basic. It it's noob friendly. Like you have everything you need set up, constant filtering, maintenance, and advanced down here. Port forwarding, port triggering. Most port forwarding, uh, mo not port forwarding. Most routers aren't like that. So I mean, I'm sorry. I will help you if you do need some help port forwarding. All right. And as you see on the CMD, it's at 0.9. So 0.9 is what we're going to put down here to allow that. Okay. But before doing that, that's for custom made already. So what we're gonna do is add custom service. Okay, once we add that, we will type in, now if you live with strict parents who check your firewall, who check your port forward, just put a service name, it could be anything. As long as you remember, it could be server, it could be anything. For this video, I'm just gonna put dark comment because I own my router, so that's it. Make sure TCP UDP is both linked. Starting port 1604, default, um, dark comet 1604 and point nine is what you're going to be typing in okay apply and if everything goes well we've just port forwarded okay we've just port forwarded now everything should be fine I'm going to minimize that I'm going to close this and we're going to click on four hours postpone okay now we're going to reopen dark comet which should be here all right one second okay now before we start you might want to put your server uh, on your ignore because you know you haven't footed it yet I'm not sure that came out right so we're gonna click on add and it should already be on the desktop it should be right here click on OK and we can minimize this and now I can test out my rats okay now if everything goes smoothly then I should be connecting up in a few seconds minutes not sure how long it takes usually it doesn't take so long so let's hope we've done everything right one second I hope something's happening. One second. Not sure. Now, if it doesn't show up, I'll probably troubleshoot some things to see what I did wrong. One second. You see, we've just popped up. I just, uh, you know what? In the beginning of the video, do not um, start your port. Do that once you've port forwarded and once you've done your no IP because it seems to work. That's twice it happened to me. And here I am. We're going to check the uh, screen monitor real quick. Okay, one second. I have to, you know, these are all funky commands which um, I haven't been using for a while because I've kind of quit from using rats since I had basically no use for them. Even though they're, they're cool. Uh, tools to use okay so here we have um, you can uh, do certain things with them uh, I'm not sure whatever you want to do okay default group okay and I've successfully port forwarded created my rat and also created no IP okay I could basically redo this again for you guys alright and I will do that for you guys to show you how easy it is okay and I'm gonna do it all again without fucking up this time okay so we're gonna go socket stop listening and I should no longer be there okay now what you're gonna do is server model minimalist and we're gonna click on secrets 2 now we're gonna go back on no IP okay okay we're gonna I'm already logged in okay so you're just gonna go on manage host we're gonna add a host, and it's gonna be the same, except it's not gonna be .zapdo. So it's dark secrets, right? Add noip.info. We're gonna click on update host, and we're done here, okay? Then we're gonna reopen the noip, which should be here. We're gonna click on show, we're gonna click on edit host, and we're gonna enter that, and we're gonna click on save, and then we're gonna edit this to noip.info okay make sure you type that correctly and click on da -da -da -da, test ID key name everything's good we're gonna try this on a different port we're gonna try 1605 and click normal and then you're gonna make up a name we're gonna make test server one no two okay we're gonna click on save and it's right there now do the same add it before you do anything else add it to your ignore log okay so we're gonna click test server two, okay, and we're done with that. Minimize. Now you're gonna do redo the thing. We can exit on this. Type start 
you're going to type in cmd you're going to type in ip config okay enter scroll all the way up and it's still pointing out it hasn't changed you haven't logged out you haven't restarted or turned off your computer you're going to reopen that internet page and we're going to click on add custom service okay sweet it's going to pop up we're going to put that point on real quick. Now the port I just put forwarded was 1605, 1605. Make sure TCP UDP is both linked. And we're going to put uh, dark comet 2. Okay. We're going to click on apply. Boom, 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 boom. And I believe we're set. Now I've just done that in a minimal three minutes. So we're going to click on socket, add port to listen to 1605, listen. Okay, and I'm going to run test server 2 without doing anything else. And everything should be okay. Why am I not popping up? One second. Does it take away? I think it takes away time. Just like the other one because I've done everything the same. 16.05. If I run again. There I am. You have to uh, double click that for some reason. I'm not sure. There I did it. I've did that in less than three seconds. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm sorry if I talked a lot, but it's the only way I could, you know, make good uh, search. I'm not really good at talking, so just enjoy the video, and I'll shut up now. Thanks for watching, guys.